Hi guys, uh, I thought that I would show you guys how I make my wax tarts. A little different for today. Um, I'm testing out this one. I've never had it before, so I'm just going to do a couple. But I thought I'd bring you along. I'm going to be making chocolate raspberry from Crafter's Choice. I have my blend of waxes that I use. Um, it's just my special blend, but uh, I get my wax from Nurture Soap. And then I have it colored with a violet and a red violet. We're going to see how this works. You want to always check your temperature and make sure that it's under your flash point. I don't know if you can see that on there. See my flash point's 200. And my candle is at... 156 my wax is at 156 so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in oh that smells really good well you can eat it I thought this would be really good for Valentine's Day coming up Sometimes I hand them out as samples, and I also sell them on my site, on Etsy. I'll put the link down below. Okay, let me try that. After you put the fragrance in, you have to mix for two minutes. So I'm going to bring you right back, okay? Okay, I thought while I'm mixing this, I'll let you know how I melt my wax. Um... I melt my wax in a stock pot like this. It works really good. You can, you know, put it on a double boiler or whatever. And then to pour it, I really like to use these Pyrex cups. It's a whole lot easier to get a handle on everything and just be able to pour. Plus, I can switch out colors and scents real easy with these. I've been stirring for over two minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and pour. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. Just some little hearts for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna try not to splash up at me. I don't think I'm gonna fill it all the way, more like half the way. I love silicone molds for this. You can get them in literally any shape. And they're so easy to take the wax out. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this in here. Now when it's all set up and done, I think think that I might drizzle some chocolate over the top of it, well brown wax over the top of it so it looks like a chocolate drizzle. Uh, I will bring you back after it's set up. Okay guys, I'm back. They're uh, all hardened up. I'm actually going to put this darker purple color on the top instead of a brown. I want to see how this would go. I don't know yet if I want to just do this. I don't know if you can see that. I want it to drizzle over the sides. I made this a little extra hot so that uh, it would stick to it good. I don't want it to have like a anything special. I just want it to, you know, look like a splat on there, like a little drizzle. Just for decoration. Okay. So, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, anything like that, just uh, leave it down in the comment box. 
Uh, thank you guys. Have a great day. I'm also going to be making a um, melt and pour donuts. Uh, mini donuts. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Thanks. I thought I'd show you a close-up of it before I go. I'm definitely liking this one the best. So when I make all my others, it's going to be a drizzle like this. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great day.